you. Welcome to Pretty in Camera with day two of Blogtober. This is an outdoor safety kit. We got it at the Hi, welcome to Pretty in Camo. This is an outdoor safety kit that we got at the exhibition that we went to a couple of weeks ago. Now, on the outside it says three steps for a safe trip. And it says one, trip planning. Plan your travel route, know the terrain and conditions, check the weather and always fill out a trip plan. Two, training. Obtain the knowledge and skills you need before heading out. Know and stay within your limits. And three, taking the essentials. Always carry the essentials and know how to use them. Add equipment specific to your chosen activity, season, and location. And then there's a website there. I'm sure you'd be able to, to go to it no matter where you are. It's, it is a .ca. I don't know for sure because I am in Canada. This is put out by the government of Canada, and they were giving them out for free. So inside it, there's all these goodies. Now, some things in it are definitely geared towards kids. There's a temporary tattoo from the Adventure Smart website. And then this coloring book that says, Hug a Tree and Survive. And it just basically, I'm not going to open it up because of, you know, copyright and all that. But um, it just basically is something to show kids that, you know, if you wander away from whoever you're in the woods with, you basically hug a tree and stay put until you're found. And then there's a little foldable game thing. And this is a survival blanket. Retains body heat, provides protection in all weather conditions. Reflective distress signal. And I'm not taking it out because I would never get that folded pack in there. Basically, it pretty much looks like a big sheet of heavy aluminum foil. And this is a, a safety whistle that I'm going to leave in the package to keep it clean. And they suggest having a whistle with you because a whistle can be heard further away than a yell. This is a reflective thing to signal and it says same things that I I listed to you before that was on the outside of the bag plus it says um, for under the equipment flashlight fire making kit signaling device extra food and water extra clothing navigational slash communication aids first aid kit emergency shelter pocket knife and sun protection and then it says, how to like use whistle blast time th times three, mirror flashes times three, horn blast times three, signal fires times three, rock piles times three to signal distress. And then it says like numbers to call and whatnot. And this is a little handout from the search and rescue. And it just says, when you, when you get lost, we are there. And it shows them going over a cliff to rescue somebody. Uh, I think it's SARVAC is the search and rescue volunteer association of Canada. Our professionally trained Ground search and rescue volunteers are vital in finding lost and missing persons. Uh, when deployed by local police authorities in ground and inland water searches, we foster, coordinate, and encourage e excellence in our volunteer search and rescue organizations in Canada. These are the people who commit to saving lives across Canada. There are over 300 pro professional trained teams in Canada with more than 12,000 volunteers. Members spend more than 100,000 personal hours in training, community service, and administration. Volunteers commit to over 250,000 personal hours on more than 1,500 searches annually. 
We deliver prevention programs to thousands of Canadians of all ages. The bottom line in SARVAC, volunteers make a difference in ground search and rescue operations in Canada. Their commitment, commitment to volunteer service is worthy of recognition, of more recognition than anyone can ever imagine, and that's what makes members so vital, so important. Our vision is to include you in our national com committee, community of search and rescue volunteers. And then there's a number and the website for anybody that might happen to be in Canada and is interested. And then this is recommended minimum ice thickness for new clear hard ice. Well, where's my camera there? So it shows you the different ones like three inches or less stay off. Four inches is good for ice fishing, walking, cross country skiing. Five inches is good for one vehicle, snowmobile or ATV. Uh, 8 to 12 inches, one vehicle, car, or small pickup, and 12 to 15 inches, one vehicle, medium truck. And then it has what to avoid on the back. And I'm not going to read these, these pamphlets to you. It says, Be Adventure Smart, Share Your Adventure with the Adventure Smart Trip Plan app. So there's an app that you can download. If you're going to go hiking, that you can log in where you're going and when you plan to be back and all that kind of thing. And this is another Adventure Smart. Just more tips and stuff. And this is SOS. It tells you like what you need to signal. A lot of interesting reading, and they were giving them out for free. Now, this is what I was interested in getting, the Wilderness Survival Guide. So I'm going to be, be reading that and maybe make some notes to share with you as I go through it. But I'll do that on a separate video. So if you think any of this stuff would be useful, let me know in the comments below. And if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the post bell button so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.